Hey there, my name is Zeppi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here to cover 88 dumb facts about both of Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion DLC trailers. This was decided by my lovely fans, and if you guys would like to vote on which comes next, keep an eye on my Twitter and my community tab. Heads up, most of these are going to be completely obvious, but I've also managed to find some stuff that I don't think a lot of people know about, which is why I'm here. For this video, I'll only be looking at the two trailers, since the DLC itself might take forever to dive into, and if you want to see me cover that, maybe hit that like button. But without further ado, let's get started. The Octo Expansion was first revealed on March 8, 2018. It was also shown during a Nintendo Direct. This was labeled to be Splatoon 2's first paid DLC, and the last. The song playing in the background is called Nasty Majesty. The Octal and Girl's eye colors are shown to be orange, but in the cover art, they're gray. I forced myself to get 88 facts because haha <laughs> Octo number, and I'm very positive I'd be getting a lot more if this was new. Only Splatoon 1 players knew who this guy was, everybody else had no idea. Padre's suitcase has, I think, a fresh fish head plush. Say that five times fast. He's wearing a pin that has a character with a bow, he has a watch with a bow, and a star with a bow. I feel like this guy has a weird obsession with bows. There's also a cute little Octarian plush sitting next to Iso Padre. Off the hook before they became, you know, off the hook. The blue creature, also known as Sea Cucumber, in which I hate that pun, why Nintendo? On a different topic, the text boxes are completely different to what we saw in the hero mode. Remember that one blobfish image that might have scarred you for life? Yeah, there's a life-sized version of that in this DLC. Speaking of which, it almost looks like it's wearing the Squid Life headphones gear, but I don't think it's the exact model. Recolored Orca High Tops, you can see the similarities, except it's in a much different color scheme. This is the introduction to sanitized Octarians. There are six of them shown in the train, but Girl Power Station has seven. They might have forgotten someone. They only show up for this shot, but then disappear in the next. Everyone just likes using their phones today, and it's not even the squid slash octo phones that we usually see. There's a whole bunch of species that we're seeing, and to be honest, I'm not going to go into detail because it'll take way too long. Agent 3 has made a return from Splatoon 1, and boy are people happy to see them return. No seizure warning? How the fuck did the telephone get on the train? The posters with the eye in them translate to the following, notice, with text below that's almost impossible to make out. The black and yellow camera posters also say notice, with also 24 hour video. Also this applies to these as well. Both octolings in a test tube covered in green gunk. Okay, I don't know what the green stuff is, so let's just call it gunk. I have no clue if this is intentional, but in this shot, the locker with the number 8 is obscured due to Captain Cuttlefish. It's not open or anything, just thought it was something to consider a fact. In the next shot, there's barely anything shown here on this wall, but my tweet from last year shows that it's been barely covered by eyes and other things. It's strange how there's only one light shining towards the telephone from the ceiling, and there's one broken light for absolutely no reason. Probably a fuse overload. The papers on the ground have the following letters, U, R, T, V, and H. On the mission select screen, you can see that it was titled Subway Map instead of Deep Sea Metro Map. They also resorted in using the original Splatoon font instead of the sequels. I'm very positive by the time you unlock two different lines, the chat log will be available for the player to view. As you can see, it's absent in this shot. Traditional subway sign behind the sanitized octoling, which translates to 79 with the numbers 6 and 3. It's kind of hard to read because it's inverted. In the final build of the DLC, the sign has been covered by a sticker. Another small thing that was possibly missed is that these trees were meant to have those UV bags and tubes with sanitized ink inside. But it was not shown in the trailer. Baby sanitized octo stomp. Yeah, every enemy is sanitized. I love how the trailer's acting like the Octoling's about to reach the surface, when in reality, they're just about to get a thing. In Goblet's time, the Octoling girl's outfit is the Blackfish Fry bandana, Octo King HK jersey, and the red power stripes. There was supposed to be a fact where I say that the trailer had nearly 888 dislikes, but because of the new YouTube update, it now just makes me look stupid. Nintendo's fully aware of how complex the Splatoon lore is, as proof by the description. This was announced alongside version 3.0, where they introduced X-Rank, Wahoo World, Camp Triggerfish, New Gear, etc. The sign at the start translates to 34, Wedding Portrait, I think. And the text beneath, I... <sighs> Listen, I tried translating this and I couldn't get anything working. 
What I can tell you is that this word starts with rest and ends with ion. I have zero clue on what this word is trying to say. But I would like to know what you guys can come up with in the comments below. Octoling and a baller. Octoling with an ink jet. That ink tank looks like it could be used as a keychain. Everyone can agree that the 8 ball levels were the best levels in Octo Expansion's history. In this shot, you can see the very beginning of the Bodacious Rotation Station level. I don't think anyone acknowledged the fact that the train was just sitting there. This is probably unimportant, but this translates to HCCR. I told you it was unimportant. And I don't think anyone even pointed out that Agent 8 was number 10,008 before the DLC was officially released. Octoling reaching the surface with the city of Inkopolis in view. Playable Octolings and everyone freaked the F out. The Octoling girl has three different running animations, one with holding a weapon, and the other two without a weapon. Now the Octoling's eye colors have changed from orange to brown. They barely showed off the Octoling boy right at the end of the trailer. His gear is the Squid Life headphones, red cuddle gear long sleeve, and the sweaty gray lace-ups. Okay, now they're wearing completely different drips. I don't understand the indecisiveness here. Never mind, they're on the opposite team with completely different weapons than previously shown. We get this really cool pose from Nogami, and it became such a meme. We got cool looking gear that you get when buying the DLC. The ending of the trailer goes on for about 15 seconds. The Octo part of the logo has an 80s vaporwave vibe. This version of Splatoon 2's logo has a different color than the original. Now it's time for the second Octo Expansion trailer, and it's only 41 seconds long. This was revealed during E3 on June 13th, 2018. To all the comments asking me how do you play as an Octoling, there you go. You're welcome. They removed expansion from the logo for a solid second. Combo Corporation logo popping up for only a bit. This trailer is mostly recycled footage from the original trailer. See when the game screens go on your faces? It's using a different font, called Splatoon 2 Neon. Game Boy Colors are shown off in the background in Iceman Station. Captain Cuttlefish repeating what he said from Splatoon 1. Yeah, this place looks kind of abandoned. First time seeing Pearl and Marina talking to Octo Expansion. I love how the antenna switches color depending on who's talking. It's so cool. Wait, the lines were originally going to be numbered instead of using the letters. We get this really cool wide shot of Agent 8 on the left and the telephone on the right. Unlike the last trailer, there aren't any papers seen on the ground. Then they gave us a release date of TOMORROW, also known as June 14, 2018. They also gave us a new amiibo to look at. Octoling Octopus is a weird thing to say and I hope to god it's not just me. If you want to see me cover the entire DLC, I think you guys know exactly what to do. And that's all the 88 facts. Like I said before, a lot of people wanted to see this, but I'm curious to know what you guys think of this video. Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to see more of these videos, feel free to subscribe. All of you have a good day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.